this of uh, orphanages in Vietnam. There's so many people into the heart. Unfortunately, no security plan is foolproof. There are a lot of things you can do to reduce the likelihood of someone stealing your bike. But, the reality is, at the end of the day, if somebody is determined to take your stuff, they're probably going to get it. Given the right tools and enough time, even the toughest locks can be defeated. Enough time apparently turns out to be about 18 and a half seconds. But locks aren't everything. There's still a lot you can do to keep your bike safe. The first of which is, anytime you ride your bike somewhere, when you go inside, take it with you. At home or at work, always see if you can bring your bike in with you. Even if you have to store it in a communal space like a bike room or a shared basement, you'll still want to lock it up, but that's still better than leaving it outside. Whatever you do, <coughs> never leave your bike outside overnight. The second thing is, always lock your bike. You may only be ducking into that shop for a second, but that's all the time it takes to steal an unlocked bike. If nothing else, at least lock it to itself so someone can't ride off on it. But even this is pretty risky. Thirdly, use a good lock. This is not a good lock. Neither is this. Nor is this. In our office, we use these locks for door stops. No, seriously. This U-lock style is a good lock. So is this heavy-duty bike-specific chain lock. The fourth thing to consider is what you're going to lock your bike up to. There are two types of things to lock your bike up to. Things that are okay, and things that are not okay. Let's review. Bike rack? This is an easy one. It's okay. What about this tree? That's not okay. Old school parking meter? That's okay. In fact, that's the only reason it's still here. So go nuts. This CTA handrail? No. Not okay. In fact, most CTA property is not okay to lock to, and they can cut your lock. Like this bus stop pole. This is not okay. Your bike's in the way of people getting on and off the bus. Find someplace else to lock up. Like pretty much any other sign pole, which is okay. However, always make sure you're not locking to a sucker pole. A sucker pole is where an enterprising bike thief has removed the bolt, securing the pole to the base but left the pole for you to lock up to. Like a sucker. Sucker poles are not okay. Always check to make sure that some kind of shim has been hammered into the space between the pole and the base so that it's wedged tight and can't be pulled out. The city does a pretty good job about getting most of the pole shimmed, but nobody's perfect. Don't worry, Chicago. We got your back this time. Now, what about the railing around this streetscaping? This is actually okay. Privately owned fences or property on the other hand? Nope, not okay. And the property owner is within their rights to cut your lock. And lastly, what about this bike share station? No, not okay. And finally, the last thing to consider is your bike locking technique. This, only locking around the wheel, is not okay. Someone will steal the rest of your bike. Always get the lock around at least one of the main tubes of the bike. But even this is not perfect, because someone can steal your wheels. Think someone won't steal your wheels? Think again. Always try to get the lock around a main tube of the bike and at least one wheel. But even this isn't perfect, as the other wheel is still vulnerable. This is especially true if it's got a quick release lever on it. In the city and elsewhere, it's only a matter of time until an unlocked wheel with a quick release lever is stolen. It's just too easy to remove from the bike. It's better to lock both wheels up, either by using a second U-lock or by adding a cable to the mix. Good bike locking technique is basically about trying to make your bike just more trouble to steal than all the bikes around it. It's sort of like if you and a friend are hiking in the woods and run into a bear, you don't have to be able to outrun the bear. You just have to be able to outrun your friend. And that's really all there is to it. If you follow these guidelines, you'll probably avoid having your bike stolen. Or worse, wind up having a picture of your bike locking fail posted to the internet like these poor rubes. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we're always posting more tips and tricks. And please like Active Trans on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, or become a member at our website to support better biking, walking, and transit in the Chicagoland region.